Hi, my name is Chauncey Lynn Childs. And whether you're listening on my YouTube channel or hearing this on my podcast, this is Insight Mentoring with me, Chauncey Lynn Childs. And uh, this is my introduction. Uh, I'm here to tell you why I'm doing what I'm doing and what I'm doing. And the reason that I am here is because about four years ago, I became an empty nester. And after 33 years of raising six children, I wanted to do something completely different, something outside of my comfort zone, something that um, was really going to challenge me. And so I decided to learn how to work online. And it's been pretty challenging, not going to lie. <laughs> really don't like being on camera at all, but um, that's okay. Doing difficult things with um, eagerly do, doing them well is important. So I started exploring what I might, what message I might put out into the world and I explored a lot of different options. Um, I am kind of a jack of all trades, not a master of any, but pretty good at a few things. I've been very involved in musical things for all of my life, musical productions, leading choirs, um, some theater. I've done a uh, little micro farming with my family and I formed a co-op um, where I had families could come and milk the cow and collect the eggs and take care of the farm. That was really a lot of fun. And I thought that might be fun to, to teach people online. And I have always had a really big garden and I thought I could do something with gardening and cooking out of the garden, kind of a farm to fork sort of thing. Another passion is sewing and quilting. I have been really heavily into quilting for about the last seven years. And I've had a little business doing that. I've really considered maybe talking about some really amazing stories that I've had, that I've experienced, things I've experienced in that. But in the end, um, the thing that really is my passion and that's really been my life has been my kids and my home and family and uh, even more, you know, kind of more into that um, home education. I homeschooled my kids for about 23 years and even at this point, I'm kind of part-time working with my grandkids uh, through the pandemic and also through um, just the fact that they, they've struggled in school. So my daughter took them out a couple of years ago, even before the pandemic. And she's gone back to school, so I've been helping her a little bit. And so that's kind of, uh, that's kind of where I decided to go with it. And I've learned a lot over all these years of, of working with my kids. I have a really diverse group of kids that have very different personalities, um, interests, capacities, um, and challenges themselves. And years ago, I, um, I read a book when I was really kind of floundering a little bit with, with parenting. I had five kids at the time and feeling like I wasn't doing a very good job. Um, I found a book called um, A Thomas Jefferson Education, and it was, it's written by Oliver DeMille. And it really just changed my whole paradigm of how we, how we work with kids. So I'll be talking a lot about that. That's kind of my focus at this point. I have a strong belief based on my experience of the last year and doing some research into the parenting niche, um, joining some Facebook groups, doing some more reading and 
talking to a lot of people uh, that there's more and more parents that are going to be coming into the home education uh, arena simply because the public schools are just becoming so crazy and you know really dangerous for our kids um, if we want them to just have a normal <laughs> kind of childhood uh, so um, I want to be able to assist people in that but the main the main thing is is I don't want to be like the expert. I really believe everybody, every parent going through the experience that they're going through with their own family is of value to the rest of us. And I just want to be a facilitator. I want to create a community where people can come together and they can share each other's experiences. They can um, talk about their challenges openly without judgment. And um, we can support one another in, you know, what's becoming a, a little bit of a hostile environment for families. And whatever your particular challenges are, um, I'm sure you can find somebody who has had those challenges too, because when it comes to raising kids and parents and trying to teach our children, there's, you know, pretty much a universal in, in a lot of ways, a universal experience. Um, I think the challenges today are even more graphic with the invasive technology that we're all having to deal with and uh, the addictions that go along with that, not only just the addiction to screens, but the other kinds of addictions, pornography, you know, um, the peer orientation that's happening with our kids. They can't be separated from their peers even for a minute. Uh, and the resulting lack of communication, lack of connection that, that is happening with between parents and kids as a result. And so there's a lot we can talk about there and how to, uh, how to combat that and, and make sure that that doesn't happen to our kids and to our families. Um, so that's kind of, kind of what it is. I, I plan on having a lot of, of videos just from average folks, um, on my YouTube, I, I will reach out to experts, but, you know, in my research, uh, joining Facebook groups and, and the reading and such, there, there are a few people that I feel have got it right, but Honestly, there's a lot of scary philosophy out there about how, how we're supposed to be raising our kids. And uh, there's a lot of viciousness <laughs> about old fashioned values. And um, so I think we have a lot to teach each other. I would love to be able to sit down with, with you personally and just talk about you and your family and how you're mentoring your children, how you are um, guiding your children and enjoying them and finding connections with them. And I hope that you'll reach out to me and let me interview you so that you can be on my podcast and on my, on my YouTube channel. So that's kind of just an introduction. Uh, about what this is about and um, what you can expect. And I hope you'll subscribe to this channel so that uh, more people can hear uh, what we have to say and find the support that they need. Until later. <laughs>